I built the earth in my Minecraft hardcore survival world. This is only episode 4 of the series and if you're enjoying it so far or you're a part of the 99% of people who watch my videos and aren't subscribed, you should consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video and enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna build the earth. Now to build this, we need wool and a lot of it. So we should build an automatic sheep farm. So what we're gonna need is two chests, an observer, an observer. So I need quartz to get that. So we actually have to go to the nether and there's a lava pool right there. So we're gonna go to the nether quick. And you might be wondering, why do I wanna build the earth? I don't fucking know, don't ask me. <laughs> There we go. An observer, a dropper, a dispenser, shears, a redstone, trap door, mine cart, railroads. All I need is glass, so I need sand. Do I have sand? Alright, bro, this is so, so <laughs> And the two colors that I want, I want green and I want blue because the earth is green and blue. And there's actually a lot of flowers here. This is like so coincidental, it's so perfect. The second I say it's so perfect, that's when everything goes wrong. After I built the farm and got my first sheep in, I needed green dye to make a green sheep to get green wool. But little did I f know the nearest desert was just thousands of blocks away. So I traveled for so long just to get some green wool. I built my farms and started to AFK. We're gonna AFK for an hour and we'll see where we're at then. Two thousand years later. So I end up AFKing for actually like a week after one hour, dude. It was Damn! after one hour. I had like one stack. So I AFK for like a week, and um, I think we're good. So I went into creative mode and I built a big rough draft in another world. And I think I have a good layout on how I'm gonna build it, but I need a lot of dirt for that. So let's go dig some up. Before we get to that, let's talk about how I'm gonna transport everything to the end. I don't have sugar boxes yet, but I do have railroads. And in the nether, one block is equivalent to eight blocks in the overworld. So technically, if I was traveling the nether, I'd be moving eight times faster than I would in the overworld. So the stronghold coordinates in the overworld are negative 1323 and then negative 1385. And according to to this that translates to negative 166 and negative 174 in the nether so if i can get a railroad with a minecart and all my stuff inside into the nether to the exact coordinates of the overworld and back into the overworld to the stronghold it's a it's a lot but it's doable so first i need railroads and i don't have a lot of that To do a lot of digging though. So, this right here is where the portal should be. Let's hope I'm right. It's not exact, it's negative 1386. I got a lot of digging to do. Finally. So just in case the minecarts end up on this side, we have this to protect it. I have like perfectly enough to get to my house, but I'm not gonna have enough to make it from the nether portal to the end portal. Um. Alright, let's start filling up. 
Okay, and off you go. My decision. I think I did pretty good. Alright, last minecart. Let's follow it all and see where it went. Jeez. Where are they? Oh look, my, my idea worked. Okay, now this is the problem. They don't do that. Holy crap, that is that is so long. Nick my scooter outside the theory. Nick Minnet. Finally. That was a good like four hours of my life just to move everything to the end. Now we just gotta build it. Before we do that, I need to go get organized and heal up and get some food, so. All right. Okay, so I went into creative mode on a different world and I built a pretty good rough draft using this circle generator to figure out like how to make it evenly proportioned. But pretty much you have to build up 30 blocks high. And then every direction we have to build out 23 blocks. And then this weird pattern that goes 4, 4, 2, 2, 6, 2, 2, 4, 4. And we just repeat that on every axis. Come on. Since the majority of the earth is blue, we're going to go around the entire thing with blue wool first and then add the green sections later on. Was I supposed to keep it inside of... Oh, that is... It is kind of pointy. Okay, so... It, it could be worse. I don't know what I did different with the bottom, but the shape... It's very bad. I mean, it's just pointy and the top look is gonna curve really well. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna redo the entire bottom. Bro, this is like a hexagon. And I don't have enough blue wool to finish it. So I need to start adding the green now. But it's, it's just too much to put into one video. I mean, but this is all just so much and I'm, there's gonna be a part two. This is all I'm gonna get for now. This is taking forever, I mean... I have never wanted to get off a game more in my entire life. Oh my gosh! 
I'm done. Now, is this really a good build? F no. Was it worth it? F no. I mean, like this, this thing is discombobulated. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I really tried my hardest. Oh, he tried it. <laughs> the inside is for some reason a better than the outside. But I don't know. Maybe one day I'll add something more to it. Maybe chains holding it down. Maybe gravity pulling the end up or something. I don't even know. But for now, this is this is this is the build. Hope you enjoyed. It's the worst thing I've done in my entire life. And thank you.